Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out in Mimi Kitchen Space. In today's episode, I'm making some wet fried chicken liver, and this is such an easy recipe. You definitely are going to nail it once you try it out. With me, I have my ingredients, and from this corner, I have my liver. So I've already washed this liver of mine, and mimi hapa so that it can drain the excess water. I have some salt. Here I have some capsicum. Here is in capsicum. I have some rico powder, and this is such a good thickening agent. You definitely want to include it. Coriander leaves. For my other veggies, I have some coriander stems. Some some tomatoes some garlic and some ginger i have some onions tomato paste which is also a good thickening agent i have some chicken cube and you can also use any other spices that you may prefer and finally have some cooking cream this is some coconut cream but you can also use any other cream that you prefer and without further ado let's get started Once my pan is nice and hot, I'll go in with about a tablespoon and a half of cooking oil. Then, once that is also hot, I'll go in with my onion. So I'm going to saute this, and once they turn translucent, I'll go back to adding my next ingredient. Now that this is how I make it, I'll go in with my ginger first. Then once it is quick run, I'll go in with my garlic as well as my tomato and my coriander stem Then I'll add some little bit of water and this is just to help my tomatoes to break down a little bit faster uh, because in that season where they, they are plenty of tomatoes like in it, uh, I don't know what's exactly the problem because uh, they don't seem to be breaking down. So I'm going to cover this and I'll see about a minute. So, at this point, I'll go in with my seasoning cube and I'm going to break it. Then, this is the perfect time to go in with the liver. And as I mentioned, this is such an easy recipe, it's not as complicated complicated as the beef liver then I'll cover this and I'll give it about a minute so that they can come back before speaking to you So this is like two minutes later and you can see now we have individual pieces of liver and that's exactly what you want. So I'm just going to make this to combine the flavors that are existing. So I didn't want to add my tomato paste before uh, because you're thinking quite huge. So it's at this point that I'll go in with my tomato paste. I'm also going to add in my capsicum. Then I'm going to loosen this up with some water. 
And now you can see that this portion is very thick because of the tomato paste. And you can see uh, everything else has become thick as well. And this doesn't also take long to cook. So at this point, I'll go in with my other seasoning, which is some salt. And remember the cube that you added contains salt, so you do not want to overdo the salt. I'll go in with my stew. I'm going to let this simmer for about five or so minutes, then we'll be almost done. So this is about three or so minutes later. Uh, remember, liver doesn't take long to cook. So I've mixed my liquor powder with some water. And as I mentioned, this is such a good thickening agent. So uh, because I know that my liver is almost ready, I'm going to add that. And now I'm going to let this simmer and everything can be canned up uh, for the remaining two minutes. Then. Uh, I'll be back to garnish it and we'll be basically done. Exactly two minutes later, you can see the magic. You can see how big this is and how delicious it looks. And this is exactly what you wanted. Wow, this looks amazing. I'll switch that off. Then I'll go in with my cream. And that's just to add some more flavor. More mountains. Hmm. I'll garnish this with the remaining capsicum as well as the coriander leaves that's basically it so i'm going to let this sit here for about two or three minutes as i serve and i'll see for serving and tasting As you've seen, this is such an easy recipe and I've served this with some um, onion rice and I've done this a couple of episodes ago. You can check that out. You can also see the mautamo. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. liver tastes amazing mm. wow. mm -hmm. chicken liver is very cheap you can get a kilogram of chicken liver at 250 shillings 
There is no reason as to why you shouldn't try this recipe. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this with a friend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.